Now, here's your Pentagon Channel report. The 2009 Department of Homeland Security budget calls for $30.3 million to be spent on the U.S. Coast Guard's icebreaking fleet, but officials doubt that will be enough for the service to have all three of its polar icebreakers in operational status. One of those icebreakers, the Polar Sea, underwent a major overhaul in 2006 and is currently undergoing more repairs before its October deployment to the Arctic. I think if you go back and you consider that we are the most powerful non-nuclear icebreak in the world and that we do have 40-year-old technology on board, there is a great deal of uh, maintenance uh, overhead that goes with operating a polar icebreaker. With the Arctic ice receding and opening waterways for ship traffic, these icebreakers must now be used for a variety of missions while deployed. We'll be involved with uh, law enforcement, fisheries patrol, search and rescue, pollution response. So the efforts over the years has shifted from a Antarctic National Science Foundation mission to more of a Coast Guard multi-mission aspect. The service's newest icebreaker, the Healy, returned from their Arctic deployment Thursday. The oldest icebreaker, the 32-year-old Polar Star, has been inactive since July 2006, and the Congressional Research Service recently said it would cost $56.6 million to fully repair the ship.